Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 2024 Access and Allies Action Briefing. Uh, this is sort of the first one of these that we've done, uh, but we actually wanted to get ahead of the game and go ahead and unveil everything that is coming for Access and Allies in 2024 before RenegadeCon. Uh, so as you know, right now it's January. This is Access and Allies Month. Uh, so as a part of those celebrations, we're going to show uh, everything that's coming. So without further ado, I'm here with Dan. Uh, Dan is the senior producer on the Access and Allies line. Uh, so let's just jump into it. Uh, starting with the first reveal, uh, it is going to be Battle for the Arctic Circle. Uh, so we talked about this one a little bit before. This is the G.I. Joe uh, game that is powered by the Axis and Allies game engine. Uh, Dan, can you tell us a little bit about this match made in heaven? Sure, sure. I'd love to. So yeah, as you mentioned, uh, this is the first game in our Powered by Axis and Allies line. When I say first, that might be a little hint that there, there will be likely more coming in this Powered by Axis and Allies line, so hint, hint. Um, but yeah, this is a perfect match for us. We, we just thought this was a great, great idea. And um, so it's going to be a two to four players, 90 minute experience. Uh, you can play either as the Joes or the Cobras. Cobra, the, the setting is that Cobra has a secret base in the Arctic Circle. They're setting up the Weather Dominator 2.0, trying to, you know, dominate the world and freeze everything. And um, the Joes, it's up to the Joes to stop them, of course. So this is classic Axis and Allies gameplay with some twists thrown in there. Um, if you're a fan of Axis and Allies, which you probably are if you're listening to this, uh, the, the, it's, you'll be able to pick it up pretty quickly. But there are some, some interesting new twists there. So there's the weather dominator that the Cobra side will be able to use. There's a, which is a, an action that they can take that will be able to freeze sea uh, pathways, um, freeze the sea to block pathways or create strategic land bridges for themselves. Uh, so that's, an, that's a neat little mechanic that they have at their, at their disposal. There is hex-based gameplay. Uh, so the board is like the top-down view of the Arctic Circle. You can see the, the South Pole or the North Pole and um, yeah, it's hex based hex based grids, um, which is which is pretty neat. Each player will have a commander board, so you'll play as a faction either Joe or Cobra. But even within that, you'll have Admiral Keelhaul, Snow Job for the Joes, uh, and each of those will have their own special powers. Um, on the Cobra side, we've got Cobra Commander and Destro. Uh, again, each of them have a special power that makes them feel unique and different. There are also some really cool plastic miniatures, which as you would come to expect from the Axis and Allies line. Uh, neat ones like the Wolf, the Snow Cat, the Sky Striker, Rattler, little infantry, little snow, uh, uh, snow serpents, um, and uh, you know, great little, great little miniatures that we're really proud of. So um, I think there's something for a Joe fan, there's something for an Axis and Allies fan, it's gonna be a great one. There are three yeah. playable scenarios that have different different starts and different uh, objectives within there. So lots of replayability. Uh, we're really looking forward to this. That's awesome. Yeah, this one is super exciting. Um, I know we're showing off some images on screen here. So it's just really cool to see sort of a, a different imagining uh, within sort of the, the world of Axis and Allies. Uh, so, you know, as Dan iterated on, this is a G.I. Joe game that is powered by the Axis and Allies game engine. Uh, so this really can appeal to more than just Axis and Allies fans. If you have friends that you've always wanted to try to get to play Axis and Allies, but they're like, eh, uh, maybe they're into G.I. Joe and you can get them to play this way. So it's, it's really cool. Uh, so this is going to be a June release. It's coming pretty soon here. So go ahead and pre-order now. Uh, all right, let's move on to our second pre-order reveal. This is number two out of six, by the way. Uh, so we've got a lot coming. Uh, so number two, we are excited to announce the anniversary edition for Axis and Allies. Uh, this has been highly anticipated. So Dan, go ahead and tell us about this one. Yeah, so ever since news of uh, Renegade working on the Axis and Allies uh, game line was announced, this was the most requested reprint uh, that we bring back. So we're happy to, to be able to do that. So when this, when this came out originally, it was to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the, the Avalon Hill uh, um, company. We're celebrating the 40th anniversary of the 1984 release of Axis and Allies Classic. Still calling it the anniversary edition, but just that's what we're celebrating this anniversary for, is the, is the 40th anniversary of the release in 1984. This is the same great game that, that if you're familiar with it, that, that it was before. There are no gameplay changes. The only thing that we're, we've done is minor rulebook clarifications, uh, but nothing 
nothing has changed. It's still a global game that includes Italy as a playable Axis power, uh, giant box, over 600 pieces, giant board, great storage boxes. Uh, it is a truly epic experience and one that, um, you know, a, an Axis and Allies collection wouldn't be complete without. So we're excited to bring that back and make it more available for, for fans. That's awesome. That's really exciting. Uh, so this one as well, very excited to say, is a June release, as you can see on screen here. So again, coming pretty soon. Go ahead and pre-order that one now. Uh, all right, moving into our third pre-order reveal. This one, uh, kind of building on the excitement of the anniversary unveil, we are excited to say that we are going to be doing an anniversary edition deluxe map. Uh, so this is sort of coming out of the coattails of the success of the uh, global uh, deluxe map, which uh, if you haven't seen already, there is currently a uh, reprint pre-order going on for that right now. Reinforcements have arrived. Uh, it, it sold very quickly, but we we went ahead and made more. So you can go and pre-order that now. Put some links in the chat. Uh, but before I, I go too off track, uh, Dan, can you tell us about this deluxe map? Sure. Yeah. So as, as Jordan said, this is similar to the global 1940. Like if you see the quality on that, Similar situation here. This is a neoprene mat with premium stitched edges. It is sized at 20% larger than the standard boards. So that's over four and a half feet by two and a third feet. Um, so it is, a, it is going to be a larger experience. Um, and in addition to just being larger and having that nice tactile feel of the neoprene, we've integrated the national production chart and the research and development charts onto the neoprene mat itself. So that would be reducing the extra pieces you need off the board, um, giving you a little bit more table space uh, or the table space that was taken up by the 20% larger. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're, we're excited for this and it's launching at the same time as the anniversary edition reprint. So you can get both the, the, the game and the mat at the same time, which will be, will be great. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, so as Dan said, this is a June release as well. Uh, so perfect opportunity to uh, have an awesome table presence right from the get go. Uh, all righty, let's move on to the fourth pre-order announcement. Uh, this one is pretty cool. It's it's a little different, uh, but it's something that uh, I think has been requested by fans. So uh, we are excited to announce that we're going to be doing hit dice for Axis and Allies. Uh, so this is more of an accessory item. Uh, can you tell us a bit about this unique item, Dan? Sure, yeah. So this is requested by fans. This is a hit dice. So if you're not familiar with what those are, it's, it's instead of a normal D6, it would be dice that have um, one, one, two, three, or four hit markers on them, and then the, re the rest of the sides will be blank. So this would be a set of 72 custom dice for use with any Axis and Allies game that uses D6, so which is most of them. It makes it, the, the, the benefit of this is that it makes it easier to roll giant battles uh, and with all the dice at once, being able to quickly and easily tell your results. It's any, anything that shows a, a, an icon is a hit and you just count up your hits. Uh, so it's a lot easier to determine the results. Uh, there will be four different colors uh, or types of dice uh, for units to hit on a one, two, three, or a four. Um, and this will come in a uh, dice duffel is what we're calling it. It's going to be a drawstring bag with uh, the Axis and Allies logo on it that you'll be able to carry them and hold them separately from your game so that you can use them in any game that you play for Axis and Allies. Nice. That sounds really cool. Um... And moving on to the fifth pre-order reveal, this is sort of within that same vein. It's another accessory item. I think this one has also been highly requested by fans. Uh, so we're going to be doing IPC chips. Uh, can you tell us a bit about these? Yeah, again, this is something that uh, an accessory that we're happy to bring out that, that will work with you know any Axis and Allies game. These are custom poker chips, poker style chips that will be used for IPC. And uh, there will be 10 gram weighted poker chip style chips that will have theming and you know specific um, denominations in them. We're going to do one, five, and 10 IPCs. It'll be 75 chips. Um, you know, gamers tend to love the tactile upgrading their bits and upgrading their their components. And this is one that that um, we're really excited to bring. Poker chips have such a great feel, tracking and spending and using. So they'll come yeah. in a plastic tray with a lid for storage and they'll look and match. They'll look the style uh, they'll match the style of Axis and Allies, uh, you know, branding and whatnot. So it'll look, fit right in with your, with your gameplay. Yeah. I think that the map kind of uh, spoke uh, 
a lot to the fact that accessories can really add a lot to a table. Um, so very excited for these. I think these will be within that same vein and, and be very valuable for fans. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, all right, so both of those are July releases. Um, so again, a good opportunity to sort of bundle that shipping on those two and get those around the same time. Uh, now, moving on into the final pre-order, this is the one I'm personally most excited about. Uh, we did a community vote a while back, uh, and it was sort of one of the first interactions that we had with you guys uh, back when we launched the Officers Club, uh, and you selected sort of the new, uh, the first new battle that you wanted us to introduce to the Axis and Allies line. Uh, so without further ado, the final pre-order for 2024 is going to be North Africa. Dan, can you tell us about this one? Yeah, sure. So this is the first all new Axis and Allies game that, that we're bringing to the table. We're excited to do, to do so. And um, as Jordan mentioned, it was voted by the community. So we're, we're pleased to bring it to you. This was designed by Axis and Allies designer extraordinaire and creator Larry Harris uh, in conjunction with co-designed by Matt Hyra, one of our internal designers who's a huge, huge fan of, of Axis and Allies designed so many games and is a, is a history buff as well. So um, that was a good collaboration between Larry and Matt Hyra. We've had a, a ton of play testers who've been helping out and doing a great job of, of getting us across the finish line on this one. This is two to four players. It is three to five hours. It's a big epic experience. This is desert warfare, keeping your armies supplied, intercepting enemy convoys, everything you would expect from a North Africa campaign. Uh, I know that in a, in a related interview on this, we're gonna talk to Matt, or Jordan's gonna talk to Matt Hyra to provide a bunch more details on the gameplay. Um, but I'll tell you a little bit about the, the top line here. There will be two scenarios uh, present in this in the box. One of them is Operation Torch, which is a shorter eight round experience. And the second one is Rommel's Last Push, which is the full, full 14 round campaign. So it'll be, you can choose, you know, how, how long you're looking for, what type, of, uh, what type of strategies you're going for there. In the box, there are over 250 miniatures with six brand new sculpts that have never before been seen. Um, I'll run down the list here real quick for you. The six new sculpts are a CMP truck, the Long Range Desert Group Jeep, the SDKFZ 231 Scout Car, the Panzer IV Tank, the French Somua S35 Tank, and the Six Pounder Anti-Tank Gun. It was fun being able to come up with new, new sculpts and um, make them you know, match the ANA look. Um, so we're pleased to bring more, more, uh, more sculpts to the table. So yeah, it was a very exciting. Um, again, it was a pleasure to work with Larry uh, to get this done, bring this to the table, and we're excited to continue to bring new content uh, for, to the Axis and Allies world. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really exciting. Um, and it's cool to see this come to fruition because, you know, as I said, this was sort of one of our first big activations within the Axis and Allies community. Uh, so it's, it's sort of a full circle moment. So very excited for this one. Uh, alrighty, so that is our six pre-orders for 2024. Uh, all of those are open for pre-order now. Uh, you can go ahead and order those. Uh, before you go and click order, hang on about one minute. I'm gonna give you actually sort of a little cheat sheet, like a roadmap of how to pre-order these so you can piece out your shipping and make sure that you know you don't get stuck waiting on your GI Joe box uh, while you're waiting for North Africa because they do ship at different times. Um, but before I get into that, I want to unveil one more surprise. Uh, well, not a surprise, we actually announced it last week, but uh, just touching on it, we are doing another deluxe map vote. Uh, so these have been well received. So we said, let's do some more. Uh, so right now we are opening up, uh, or a vote is live rather, for uh, four options you can choose from, being 1942 Second Edition, 1941, 1914, and Guadalcanal. Uh, so don't forget to vote. Make sure that your voice is heard. And that will be the next deluxe map uh, releasing in 2025. Uh, alrighty, so now moving into sort of that roadmap that I just talked about, uh, right here on screen, this is going to be your best option for ordering. Uh, if you want to order everything, this is the way you should sort of bundle up your orders. That way you don't get stuck waiting for shipping, because as I noted, uh, if you were to order, say, Battle for the Arctic Circle alongside North Africa, Battle for the Arctic Circle will wait to ship with North Africa, uh, because that's the way the system is built, so it doesn't, you know, charge you for shipping multiple times. 
Uh, so if you want to get things timely, you know, all at the same uh, or in the release months, uh, order them as iterated on the screen, sort of in those bundles, depending on the release months. Uh, alrighty, I think that is about it. So now uh, we're going to transition over here. And uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, stay tuned for more Access and Allies happenings throughout the remainder of the month. Uh, if you missed it, we've got a sale running right now. So 10% off all in-stock Access and Allies games. Uh, so it's a really good opportunity to sort of pick up anything that you might be missing from your collection. Uh, we've had videos being posted from Board Game Nation uh, talking about sort of the 2023 Access and Allies World Championship. If you're not aware, uh, Gary from Board Game Nation actually won that world championship. Uh, so he's a great voice on strategy and all sorts of stuff in that vein. Uh, and then perhaps we might have some more news on the upcoming 2024 world championship uh, coming pretty soon here. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and lastly, just want to mention, uh, as Dan said earlier, we're going to have an interview with Matt Hyra on the game design of North Africa. So you can hear a bit more about that uh, exciting release. So thank you very much, everyone. I hope you're having a blast for Access and Allies Month. I uh, can't wait to see you for the next one.